What's up guys, it's your boy DS and today we are going to be going over the Dark Art build. Now, uh, the reason why I say Dark Arts and not just the Unforgivable Curses is because there are a couple of spells you want to have along with this build to make this build really work. Looking at the spells, the first one we're going to be looking at is actually going to be Expelliarmus. Now, I know that this is a disarming spell, but there is a talent that makes this spell curse enemies. So you're going to want to run this. Now, on top of this, you also want to run Arresto Momentum because this can also curse enemies with the talent. And then the last one that you need is going to be Flipendo, which is also going to curse enemies when you use it. So these three are going to basically allow you to curse more enemies. And then after that, you're obviously going to need the three unforgivable curses. Now, uh, Crucio is basically going to make the victim stand there in pain. It does curse them. Then you look at Imperio. This is going to put someone on your team, but again, also curse them. And then Avada Kedavra is going to kill said enemy. Now, uh, I have it like this, where you see there's, there's three on this one, and then there's two right there. And then I also have all red right here, which is going to allow me Expelliarmus. So I have two curses here, one curse here, and then the three unforgivable cells there. You can map it however you want to. That's completely up to you. But anyway, now that we're done talking about that, we're going to get into the talents. I'm going to tell you up front, uh, realistically, you want every single dark art. Realistically, that's just what you want. You look right here. Stupefy has the same effect as curse on enemies. So now whenever you block, you can also curse enemies, which is really good. If you look right here, dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all other cursed targets. This will allow you to do damage to multiple enemies, even if you're not hitting all of them at once. Flipendo, this allows you to curse with that spell. This allows you to curse with Expelliarmus. And then this allows you to curse with uh, Arresto Momentum. And then right here, as you see, a cursed effect remains on an enemy for a longer period of time. This is going to be really good for the combo that I'm going to be talking about in just a little bit. Right here, you see an enemy under your control with Imperial Curses, other targets, with each successful strike. So, with this, it's going to allow you to have other enemies curse other enemies. On top of this remaining longer, is going to allow you to have even more cursed enemies. And then right here, striking an enemy cursed with Crucio, releases a projectile that curses nearby enemies. This is going to allow you to curse even more enemies. And then finally, the last two, defeating a cursed enemy restores some of your health. This is just nice to, you know, get your HP back. But this one right here is what brings it all together. Killing an enemy with a Vata Kedavra kills all cursed enemies. So with all of these combos and things together, and then this one, you can pretty much curse you know, five, ten enemies, use a, a Vata Kedavra, and you will literally kill all of them. It's such a crazy combo, but you obviously want to have all of, you know, the talents. So, like I said, really good way. You can literally just walk in, hit one enemy, hit another enemy, hit a third enemy, hit a fourth one, a fifth one. You get a Vata Kedavra right then, or if you want to fight a little bit and let the other enemies curse other enemies, you know, instead of you just having five of them, you might have six, seven, eight, nine, who knows how many cursed enemies. And then at that point, you can a Vata Kedavra and you will kill them all. Now, obviously, I have these spells right here, which are just going to be some uh, extra support spells for me to uh use to round out my build but now that we're done talking about all that let's go ahead and get into some gameplay as you guys see right here i see a whole bunch of enemies i'm gonna go ahead and land and obviously you wouldn't run around as much as i'm about to but even with that being the case hey what's up bro he's done we'll go ahead and hit him with one hit him with one hit him with one is there anyone else? Yeah, let me talk to you. Hit him with one, and then all of them die. So that is basically how you want to play this build. So as you guys saw right there, that is pretty much how you guys want to play the build. If you're trying to utilize the curses as much as possible. And then obviously that's like not what you're going to be doing the entire time. Because you do have cooldowns. But in between using all of those spells, you can use your other spells and, you know, fight enemies and things like that in between. But anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys in the comment section. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.